Hey circuit riders, welcome back. We have just returned from our New England holiday trip and we are glad to be back in the warm sun of the Southwest. So today we've driven over to California, but right on the border of California and Arizona. So this park actually observes Arizona time so we can stay on mountain time for a little bit longer. This is a really nice RPI Park, Resorts Parks International. I think this is maybe the nicest RPI we've ever stayed at. Only $10 a night with our membership. So we're here for the next two weeks. Thanks for coming along. Now these sites right here along the river recreation area are gorgeous, but you can't stay here if you're an RPI member. These are reserved for like some river club membership or something, but still we have a great site a couple rows back. And we are on the California side, but just across the river is Arizona. So this whole strip along the river here still uses mountain time. I think it's just easier to keep everybody on the same time zone. traveled about 45 minutes north of our campground today to the city of Lake Havasu City. It's in the middle of the Arizona desert, but they, there's a little lake here and it's a lovely little town. There's tons of shopping and every amenity that you could want. So this is like the main shopping area for people up and down the California, Arizona border in these little RV parks and campgrounds. Um, but behind me, you'll see this bridge. This is the famous London Bridge that was moved from London to Arizona in 1968. So I've learned a little bit about the history here. This bridge was originally built in 1830 to cross the River Thames in London. It was just one of the several bridges that is over there that crosses the Thames. And eventually it deteriorated and they weren't able to use it anymore over the Thames. So the city of London put it up for sale. And a man named Robert McCullough had started this town of Lake Havasu City in 1964 in an effort to try to attract tourists and retirees to settle here, but he couldn't get anybody to come and buy houses or land here because there was no amenities, no shopping, there was, there was nothing here. Nobody wanted to move to the middle of the desert. So his business partner discovered in 1968 that the city of London was selling this bridge and he convinced Robert McCullough to buy the bridge as a tourist attraction to put into the town and to, to attract new home, home buyers. So that's what he did. He bought the bridge. They disassembled it brick by brick and shipped it over here to Arizona and then reconstructed it. Now the internal part of this bridge is new cement, new from 1968. And then they facaded it with the original stones from the London Bridge. Um, and then once this was built, it attracted all kinds of people here and people were able to build their retirement homes and their vacation homes. It became a thriving city. So this water canal here was not here when the bridge was brought over. Um, they built the bridge, reconstructed the bridge over land, and this island, actually we're on the island here, used to be a peninsula that was connected to the mainland. Well, after the bridge was built over the land, then they carved in this canal here so that the bridge would actually be going over water. Such a fun story and a fun landmark for us to see here today in Lake Havasu City. lovely little walk down by this channel that they've built under the bridge and that goes out to the big lake Havasu. 
Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. It's okay. I was going to get out of the way. I'll accept the new We were coming to the end of the channel walk because we wanted to see the lighthouses that were on the sign. It's enormous. It's not really a lighthouse. <laughs> it's more of an L -I -T -E. A toy lighthouse. L I T E. <laughs> Okay, so we just read that the lighthouses along here are replicas of other lighthouses in the country. This one is based on the Buffalo, New York lighthouse that is at the head of the Erie Canal. So, all right, they can have that one. <laughs> We're just walking through the parking lot back to our truck here at Lake Havasu City Beach and there's a huge Van Lee Volano parked in the parking lot. We said, what? what is that? There's no camping here. These people are set up with their slides out and everything. They've got full hookups. We think it must be a work camping situation. Either this is a park manager or someone who's working temporarily to take care of the park here. That is very cool. That's just that's the 60s. Though there's no high rises, no multis at True. all. A lot of population, though, has settled around this lake. And that's just since the uh, 1960s. 1964, the town was founded. <laughs> I don't think we've seen such a huge density of RVs and RV parks in boondocking as we have here in Arizona. Especially here along the Colorado River. They're just everywhere. <laughs> just RVs everywhere. Yeah. Also, this area around the Colorado River is huge for off-highway vehicles, so basically ATVs that you take over sand dunes and over the desert. We see them everywhere. Just like we saw ATVs in northern Maine, there are OHVs here in Arizona. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> the lights on. That's still a wild animal. Huh? So we did see signs on the road earlier that said, watch out for wild burrows on the road and please don't feed them or harass them. Well, this is the first time I've seen one in the campground. This little guy is trying to get into the dumpster, so I don't think he's tall enough to do that. <laughs> and we finally found some wild donkeys. Can you see them? I mean, that aren't in the RV park? <laughs> that aren't in the RV park. Big one. Then we're gonna go back again a little bit later. <laughs> 